What's been kind of the focus for you since the season ended to get to this point? Um, right now, I just have the best offseason that I can. Um, coming out, um, work hard, get my body right, get healthy, uh, mentally get healthy, and just get ready for the season. You know, it's, we have a great group ahead of us, and it's going to be a fun year. How much do you work backwards when you, when you start evaluating yourself? Like, do you go back and look at game tape from last year, things you want to work on? How much? How much I mean, for sure, yeah. You go back through film and know, know what you want to get better at and what you need to improve on. But for me, it was really just resetting and uh, mentally resetting, physically resetting, and really finding out who I am again and just coming back ready to go and just having fun with it again and enjoying it. And that's what I've done. And so I feel great right now. So it's been good. How do you reset? Uh, I just go back in the off season. you know, relax for – a couple of days, you know, get back in treatment, um, get the body healthy, and then just get back to work and have a good time with it. Find a good balance of work and fun and, and make it not a job anymore, but just a, something you get to do every day that you love. So that's, what's, that's what it's been for me, and that's what's been working for me recently. Do you think that's something <clears throat> um, last year in particular, but both years that maybe you've kind of overthought things and mm -hmm. that's carried over? For sure, yeah. I'm naturally an overthinker. That's, I've been my whole life. I'm a perfectionist. I want to be perfect in everything I do, and if I'm not, I overthink, and I get in my head, and that's probably my biggest flaw and one of my biggest weaknesses, and that's why I've worked on a lot, just going, just being loose and just having fun. And, and at the end of the day, no matter what I do, just go hard, um, put everything I can into it, and just at the result, at the end of the day, just know I put everything in. So that's what I've been working on. It's been feeling great, just just, just going. That's, that's what's been working for me. Yeah, how do you find that balance of mm -hmm. you know honoring your sister and uh -huh. working um, you know, to help others and then also – Drawing that line mm -hmm. of when you step on the field, that's yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's been a long process. It's been hard to find. Um, <clears throat> first year was really hard for me. Uh, just all the phases of anger, depression, sadness, uh, guilt, you know, grief, all that kind of stuff. And then, um, so it was hard, hard, hard for me to get healthy. And it took me a while. And once I was, I was just a different person. It was like it was like I was light on my feet. I could like finally walk and move again. Um, but uh, it took a while, like you know, seeing a therapist, uh, um, being open, and uh, just with my emotions and everything. So. Um, but just finding a way to have a new outlook, outlook on life. Like, life's not going to get easier, but find a way to adjust with it and, and keep moving um, and get better every day. And that's what I've been able to do. And, uh, yeah, so that's how I've been – that's how I've kind of found that balance and getting healthy mentally and physically because physically you can be the best that you can ever be, but if you're not – not healthy mentally, your not, body's not going to work. Your mind can take over your body. Your mind controls everything. So that's what I've been working on for me, and I feel mentally healthier than ever, and that's why I feel the physically best I've ever felt in my life right now. Have you uh, seen the league <clears throat> announced yesterday about the, you know, the mental health uh, side of it and, and the league trying to help mm -hmm. players on that side? Are you familiar with I did that? not. That came out yesterday? Yeah. Okay, I did not see that. You use the phrase of finding finding out who you are. I assume something mm -hmm. like what you've been through changes who yeah. you are. So you have to kind of rediscover, but discover something new at the uh -huh. same time. Who are you? What, what, what uh -huh. did you What did you find in, in that process? Um, I'm a person who lives off passion and purpose. You know, every day for me, you know, I want to be passionate about everything I do, and I want to be purposeful and having a great intent of everything I do. So that's what I found out myself, and I love this game of football, and it's been a blessing for me. The teammates it brings me, um, the things I get to do, the life I get to live. Um, but I just love this game, and I want to be the best I can. I'm like, I'm a competitive person. I play this game to be the best, and that's why I'm here. Um, so just finding that out again, uh, it's not like I ever lost that, but a lot of things clouded that. And getting my mind clear again, having me see that, and <clears throat> getting back and, like, having fun, like, working out. Like, it took a while to get there. Having fun coming to practice, having fun coming to meetings, it took a while to get there. And I've been able to get there, and, like, my life's been so different these last, like, ever since I got healthy, probably, I would say, like, November. Like, my life's been so different, and it feels great. So just, like, once I got mentally healthy, like, my life has changed. And... Um, being me again because I'm just a guy who goes and a guy who loves life and guys who tries to bring energy up around a guy who tries to bring the energy up around me and uh, makes me the best I can in everything I do and that's what I've, how I've lived my whole life and why I've gotten to where I've gotten and uh, why I'm going to keep going. So <clears throat> your name came up during the draft and uh, I believe it was John Lynch or John or, or Kyle both talked mm -hmm. about uh, you know what what happened from their standpoint. Did they ever reach out to you during that time to give you the update of where things stand and what's what's out there? Um, uh, yeah, when all those trade rumors came out, uh, John put me in his office and we just had a good, good, nice, organic, healthy talk and, um, you know, I respect and love John and he's been nothing but amazing to me and so is Kyle and this whole organization. Um, but yeah, we just talked about, uh, you know, plans moving forward, just how we're excited about this new scheme, how it perfectly fits how I play, um, and just how, how we're excited for this next year to go and, um, everything's in the past is in the past, you know, um, <clears throat> like, 
I had probably my worst season ever in my life last year, and I'm the most confident I've ever been in my career, like right now. And uh, that says that says a lot. And I'm just ready to move forward and, and show everyone who Solomon Thomas is and who I am and, and what I'm about to bring to the table for this team. How does this new scheme fit you? It's perfect. You know, getting off, getting the backfield going, not thinking, just just getting off, using my explosion. Like that is that is how I play. You know, an undersized three tech can use my quickness and my explosion, being able to just use that and just and just move. And uh, having a green light, you know, that's that's what I need. I don't need to be reading or sitting back. I need to be going and being able to like press guards, um, get on the edge and, and crush crush tight ends. That's how I play, and that's what's that, that what brings my strength. That, that's what that's what kind of scheme can bring my strengths out. So I love this scheme. Coach K has been great for us, and we've it's it's been fun so far, and uh, everyone's having a great time. So it's been good. John, John and Kyle both talked about using you more inside in, in mm -hmm. that three-tech spot. Is your, uh, are your responsibilities going to be more streamlined just generally this year, having honed on maybe one mm -hmm. position instead of playing three? <clears throat> yeah, so kind of how we finished the year last year, uh, me playing more inside, but also playing like first down, like on the edge and moving, kicking and down, like on second and long, third and long. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of been the plan, and that's kind of how it fits my body type, my scheme, how I play. And uh, it was successful at the end of the year, and I think it's going to be successful moving forward in this new scheme, especially how Coach K teaches his technique and just how we're going to play, how our defense is going to play this year. So um, that's kind of what I've heard as a plan, or I've seen as a plan, and um, I think it's a great plan. I think you hit what 280 last year. Is that mm -hmm. what you want to play out this year? Uh, no, uh, yeah, I hit 280 uh, around OTAs in camp last year, and then try to slim down towards the end of the year, um, back to 270. Um, I just feel better at 270. Um, I just feel more explosive, more quick, and I feel like that's where my strengths are. Um, like I said, being undersized three tech, uh, being able to be quick, step on guards' toes, make them feel me, that's what I need to be doing, and I feel way better at 270. And um, Like I said, I feel the best I've ever felt physically and uh, athletically, and, and uh, I'm excited. So just like a refocus on mental health in mm -hmm. sports, I mean, across the board, how much happier does that make you feel about Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good. It's it's very needed. Um, I know the NBA does a good job. Kevin Love, DeMar DeRozan, some other guys have, have really stepped up, especially Kevin. Um, I know in the NFL, it's a big problem we have. We're probably one of the most masculine sports out there, and um, and we need it bad. And we need more more conversation about it, more topic. And um, I'm trying to, you know, to start spark a conversation and um, start, like, a little trend in the NFL to, like, you know, speak up. We have some other players I've seen. Um, speak up about it and uh it's just a huge topic and we we work so hard and we have so much stress inside outside of the building and we don't talk about our mental health and how important that is and uh it's it's a huge mental health is an epidemic in the u.s and around the world and it's something that we need to talk, talk about especially in a very masculine sport so like, we can kind of set the example for all the other men out there who watch us on monday night or little kids and let them know it's okay to express their emotions it's okay to not be okay so <clears throat> that's important and that's why i kind of want to keep talking and start a conversation as much as i can so regarding your conversation with john Lynch, did he address those trade rumors specifically and tell you mm -hmm. about where <laughs> yeah, no, he didn't. I mean, he just said, you know, in the day and age we live in, this is this is how things happen. Someone tweets out something, someone then someone credible tweets it out, it gets retweeted, everyone talks about it, and that's kind of what happened. Um, and he was just like, we have no intent of trading you. We want you here. Uh, we love the new scheme for you. We're excited for you. We're excited about what's about to happen with you and this defense um, and this team. So. We just addressed that real quick, and then we just had a nice little conversation. I mean, me and John have had a relationship before. He was a GM, and um, he's been amazing to my family and I, and so is the York family and everyone in this organization. So I have nothing but love for them and how they do business and how they run this organization. Did, did you think about it, though, whether whether moving out to get a new scene or going to Texas, maybe back home, might be easier for you to just readjust? Um, I really didn't even think about it. Like, in this business, you know, whatever happens, happens. You don't control it. Um, but uh, no, I, I love this organization. I love being here, and I want to uh, finish what I started. And I want to come here, and I want to show everyone why John and Kyle drafted me number three. And uh, um, you know, just kind of be who I am. I mean, that's not in my head. Me being the third pick at all ever in, anymore. Like that's not part of my focus. But me just going out and showing people how good I am and why I'm here. That's that's part of my focus, and what's part of my reason going on. <clears throat> did, you feel that, Mark, did, did you feel that burden? Of, of being the third pick your, your first season? I, I definitely felt pressure and and like I said uh, I put a lot of I'm the hardest person on myself that I know and uh, I get a little too hard sometimes I get in my head and I get down on myself and I let that happen my rookie year and then last year I just wasn't me and uh, I'm not making excuses for how I played I didn't play well and that's on me that's I should have played better but I'm not making excuses for any of that but I'm just saying that uh, I wasn't me last year and I definitely put pressure on myself but uh, that's over like cool I got picked up early 
but now I got to perform and I got to play and be there for my teammates and everyone around me um, and myself. And so that's what I want to do and just go out there and have fun and, and play football. So, yeah. In the offseason, uh, obviously a lot of resources were put in and get, getting D, getting to, getting uh -huh. Do you guys as a group, a defensive line, is, is there an understanding or even discussion in the room of, hey, there's a, there's a lot mm -hmm. being put us, a lot of expectations out of us mm -hmm. to, to kind of lead the way for this defense? Yeah, and we kind of love it. Um, we're excited for this year. We have some great players, picked up a great Great player, great kid, Nick Bosa. You know, um, love working with Nick so far. And D Ford has been a great leader. He's a great player. Got one of the best first steps in football. Man, insane. So, I mean, we're excited. It's going to be a fun year. We have a lot of great guys. Everyone in the room has a chance to contribute and, and be great and make this um, a great and fun year and, and a dominating year. So that's what our goal, and that's what we're trying to do every day.